So there have been some questions about some of the materials we use to make paper creep brick. Newspapers are the best, followed by magazines or phone books. Normal 8.5 by 11 office paper works well too. All of it you need to get wet. The paper has to be ground into pulp. Just getting it wet isn't going to work. You can learn how to make an attachment for your drill with this YouTube video. The paper is properly pulped and you have the right water to paper mixture when it's kind of has the texture of like lumpy oatmeal. So what doesn't work? Cardboard. Even with sheets of cardboard that I had soaked in water for seven or eight days, it was just terrible trying to chew it up with that drill bit. But I should be more specific, corrugated cardboard on the left. Normal cardboard like you have in a box of cereal, no problem. But you do need to shred it. It only takes a few seconds with an empty box to rip or tear or cut it into flat pieces and run it through a cheap shredder. And as long as you get them wet, you may not even want to grind them up with the paper pulp. They'll work in the brick. Making paper creep bricks has made us much more aware of all the different types of materials that we can recycle. Even the plastic liner that the cereal came in can be reused. We tie them in knots and put them in the brick. Or other plastic bags. First you twist them up, then you tie them in a knot, and stuff them in a brick. On the right you can see a piece of plastic that got a little too close to the edge and actually shows when the brick is dry. Normally you push these deep in the bricks and you can't be seen. You can also stuff small plastic bottles inside your bricks. On the left you can see our empty form, on the right you can see it just before it's ready to pour. You need to keep your filler material below 30% of the brick and 70% concrete. You can use pretty much anything including corn cobs and old foam. As long as you're not afraid to get your hands dirty as you will have to reach in and reposition each piece once you pour the paper creed in the form. Here you can see styrofoam packing from a computer an old garbage bag knotted up, and an empty bottle. The packing that computers and electronics comes in is pretty amazing stuff. You have to cut it or rip it up into small pieces. But it makes excellent filler material in your bricks. And as always, yes, they do stand up, even in the worst weather. It doesn't really seem to affect the bricks as long as you keep it under 30%. Finally, a small reminder, even though glass probably would work, you don't want to cut yourself when you're pushing it into the form, so bad idea.